Oliver the octopus came to shed a couple of years ago and has been working with a group of eight different aquarists and trainers here at shed. Those eight people rotate through every week. Oliver sees those staff, gets his food from them, interacts with them. We do um, kind of a body assessment, a health assessment while we're interacting, while he's getting his diet. An octopus is a cephalopod. Cephalopods are a great group of animals. Um, they're really unique from everything else. Oliver is a giant Pacific octopus. They are nocturnal by nature, so a lot of times our guests can view our giant Pacific octopus sleeping in the cave during the day. Taking care of octopus is really different than taking care of fish. They're such unique animals. They can get out of their enclosures. They can work latches and slide things, and they're very strong. So unlike some fish that are happy to stay in the water, the octopus is curious and might explore. So behind me is the octopus exhibit, behind the scenes. And there's a different sort of latching mechanism. It's all plastic because, of course, salt water could corrode metal, and that could endanger the health of our octopus. But you have to think outside the box to keep an octopus safe. Um, so we have a different kind of latch to keep our octopus healthy and within the exhibit he's supposed to be in. Octopus have a varied diet. They'll eat large pieces, they'll eat small pieces, they'll eat mollusks and fish and shrimp. But his mouth is actually kind of underneath the body where all those arms meet. Those suckers will either hand that food up, sucker by sucker, or sometimes he'll just take the end of that arm and, and take it right in and transfer it. It's amazing to touch an octopus, but I think even more so it's amazing for the octopus to touch you. He is exploring and, and he will reach out and touch your hand. And each one of those suckers is individually controlled by the animal. So he can suck from one sucker or the whole line of them. Sometimes it's very gentle and he's just exploring maybe smelling, if you will. They have chemoreceptors on those so he can tell the difference between the food items that maybe you've touched that day, maybe who you are. And it's fascinating to think of all of this happening just with a touch of an animal coming in contact. We do enrichment for a lot of the animals at Shed Aquarium, but especially the octopus gets different toys and meets different people and interacts with people differently and, and shows us different behaviors during our training sessions just to keep his mind moving and to keep his energy up. Also so our staff can interact with this animal during the day. Normally he's active at night and our staff isn't always here when he's most active. So it's nice to ask him to come to the surface, interact with us on a regular basis so we can determine if his diet needs to be increased or decreased, if he's doing okay, if he's energetic as he's supposed to be. Other cool behaviors that octopus do is the use of their siphon. It's basically a, a part of their body that is part of their breathing mechanism. So they pull in water and it goes over their gills and then exits through a body part called the siphon. And they can direct this, so it's kind of near their eyes. And sometimes when our animals are at the surface, they will blow water out of that siphon and it's just like a garden hose. If they have that directional water flow and they can pulse that, they can move sand and maybe find prey items. They can maybe clear out their den. It's a fantastic natural behavior that we're able to see here at Shed. And here at Shed Aquarium, we have two different species of cephalopods in-house. So you can see our giant Pacific octopus in the oceans gallery on the main level. But be sure that you check out our cephalopods down in Wild Reef. We have Nautilus down there. And they are fantastic animals and not to be missed if you're visiting Shed Aquarium.